14 or 314. So it's Pi P I Day. It's Pi Day. Get it? <laughs> so today we're taking it literally, and I'm joined by celebrity chef, and I have a mad crush on him, Aww. Ronnie Wu, and I'm gonna call I him. Have a mad crush on you too. <laughs> so Ronnie, you are literally a party guy. Right? I am. I throw parties for people essentially. But really that is intimate. It's such an awesome job. It is really fun. I get to be a part of really fun experiences and like special occasions. So he's a chef, but instead of having a restaurant and slaving away every day, he literally parties for a living. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and what's the name of your company? It's called The Delicious Cook. I wanted to choose something that wasn't super bougie. Yeah. Something that's a little goofy because I'm kind of a big nerd. So, The Delicious I, Cook. He's a legit nerd with like legit. a gajillion degrees, too. Oh, no. But let's I get do. into pie first. <laughs> what, what are we making first? Because right. this smells insane. Well, who doesn't love a really good burger, right? I love me a burger. I did write I a book love... on burgers, 200 burgers. Yeah. I the know. book of burgers. She's like the queen of burgers. I so, am. I'm a little intimidated to show you this recipe, but no, I think I you guys this. are really going to love it. Okay, so it's a bacon cheeseburger slab pie. So it's really easy to make for a large group. I know. Yeah. Shut the door. Yeah, shut the front door, right? I know. Okay, you guys are left. It's very intuitive. So all the ingredients, this is basically what you find in a burger. Mm. So we have some onions going on here, some bacon. And the easy thing is you just put the bacon in the onions and just let it cook over the over the Render stove. it out. Yeah, render it's out good. the bacon. It's delicious, right? The bacon makes everything sweet. better. They can make everything better. If you put bacon around my arm, I would eat it. I'd be like, ah! <laughs> All right, then we're gonna add some ground beef. I like to use the 80-20, because that- Me too. Yeah. I'm an 80-20 girl. Me too, me oh, too. Oh, we're gonna roll deep. Yeah, we are gonna roll. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna, you should do it. Like, you shouldn't do the lean stuff. I'm like, if you're gonna do a salt burger- Salt pepper? Salt and pepper, can please. Can I S&P? Yes, please, S&P me. All right, the shoulder get it, walk, girl. Baby. Yes, <laughs> get it, girl. All right, so you're just gonna let that beef brown, and this is gonna turn this beautiful- And it looks beautiful, like this dude back here. Beautiful, beautiful, yummy, delicious brown goodness. You know, you know it's gonna be really good when it's that dark flavor, okay? So what we're gonna do is transfer this to a big bowl. Big old mixing bowl. Yep. And this is kind of the part where it might be a little bit strange, but it's not if you really think about it. We're adding burger ingredients. So we have some sweet relish here. You gotta put the condiments right in, yes, right? Yes, please do it for me. Some ketchup. And who doesn't love ketchup? I put ketchup on everything. Me too, delicious. But even more so, I put mayo on everything. I'm like that grandmother in my big fat Greek wedding, where I'm like, oh, you have a scrape on your knee? Just put mayo on it. Like, it totally works that way. <laughs> I literally put mayo on I'm gonna put it on this next thing we're gonna make too. Okay. All right, so you mix it up, mix it up. We're gonna crack a couple eggs in here. And what'd you use for the slab? So we use store-bought puff pastry, which makes it very so easy. So easy. Yep. Dufour like makes a good one, I like theirs. Do you? Okay, yep. yeah, we should, well, puff I'm pastry. pretty sure this is what this is. So basically, put it in there. Drop it in here. Drop it in there. I like to roll it out a little bit because it kind of deflates a little bit because puff pastry gets really, really, really fluffy. So I just like to roll it out a little bit. Beautiful. Slather. Yep, spread it in there. All right. Gotcha. And now we're gonna add you know, the, the basics of a burger. We're gonna add some American cheese. I use American cheese. I love American cheese. Yeah, it's processed and delicious. Like, who doesn't love American cheese? <laughs> Don't go for the real stuff. Go for the fake stuff for this one. American cheese is, it, it's un-American not to like American cheese. They put it in the name, yeah, just, American. Exactly, yeah. and I'm an all-American Asian boy, so I always put it in there. I'm a all-American Sicilian girl. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just threw the cheese in there. It's gonna Slab melt. Of, uh, big slabs of beefsteak tomato or heirloom tomato in there, yum. Whatever you have. Put a lid on her. Put a lid on it. All right. Boop. It's gonna, it doesn't even need to be pretty. Just fold it over. Rachel, you wanna help? And just fold it over. Remember, we don't now have time for this. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> oh, look, from the magic of television. Woo! <laughs> All right. And so you guys know what it looks like on the inside. It is gorgeous, and what fun for a brunch, right? A nice big brunch party. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Rach, what? I gotta feed you. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm, baby. Oh. Mm. That is so, so hot. 
It's really hot. I think my throat's a little burned. I know. We won't be tasting anything for the rest of the day. <laughs> exactly, yeah, but that was worth it. No, it's delicious. Really delicious. Okay, okay. now we're gonna work on a sweet, right? A sweet, yeah. So, so we, we had our savory. Savory pie, now we have our sweet pie. And this is unlike anything you guys have ever seen. It's really cool and really like kind of a showstopper for parties. It's, okay. So this is a showy-offy one. Yeah, it is okay. kind of a showy-offy, but very easy, I promise you. What's it called? So it's called cinnamon roll apple cobbler pie. Cinnamon roll apple yeah. cobbler pie. and wait pie. until you see this. Mm, that's okay. a lot to digest. It is, mm. it's easy too. Okay, so what we have here is some butter, some sugar, and a little bit of cinnamon. Kind of what you would find in a cinnamon roll. Then you just kind of smooth it over, store-bought pie crust again. Don't these be afraid. These are because these are fake outs too, right? You totally. don't have to have an enormous amount of skill for this. Exactly. I mean, if you want to make your own pie crust, I mean, go ahead, be my guest, but why waste your time? Quite frankly, don't you have better <laughs> things to do? Exactly. Right. right. Okay. So I'm not doing a very good job, but for the sake of time, you just want to roll it up, just like a cinnamon roll. All right. Then you want to pop that in the freezer. So put, it sets up. So it sets up. You're going to put it in. Do put we it have in one in wrap. Here, we do. We have one in the fridge. Oh, in the fridge or freezer? It's Which in the one? fridge right now. Oops. Oops sorry. I'm I got it. I got it. her hand there. <laughs> Burned her tongue. Pressed That's her okay. hand. That's okay. Don't worry about it. We'd <laughs> Whatever. Still, you don't need. We don't still need. hang. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have this set up. Rach, if you want to cut slices for me while I make sure, the baby. filling. So what you want to do is cut quarter inch slices, and you'll see why. Right now we have some sliced up apples. Brown sugar goes in there. A little bit of salt to bring out the sweetness. Some flour to bind it all together. A little bit of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. I'm gonna use this really amazing contraption drawer. from your oh, new yeah, line. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for plugging my... This is a great grater. A, a little bit of grater. nutmeg. All right, we're gonna mix it up. I'm gonna use my hands. So easy. So easy. It's very easy. Everyone, so here's the thing. My mom never made me apple pie when I was there. She never made any pies, really. She made apple pie once, took her all day, and I was like, and she never made it again. And because of that, I always crave apple pie. Aww. So here, I don't know anything about parenting, but if you want your kids to not, to like something, don't give it to them when they're kids. <laughs> that is literally how you get them to do something. <laughs> Reverse psychology. All right. So fit as much of that apple in there as you can. Awesome. And look at these beautiful swirls. And then swirls. look, you put the little cinnamon rolls all over the top. All right. How cute is that? You guys are gonna love the way it comes out. So adorable. And anybody could do this. Anyone can do this. And you just use the store-bought crust and you get two in one. And I'm a super efficient person. So this is kind of like, you know, two in one for me. Yeah, Kill two birds with one bun. stone, exactly. Can I show them the ta-da? Pop them in the oven. Look at that. I'm not done, y'all. Then he's got the glaze on the cinnamon rolls. Oh, look, you got him moaning now. 